Are you planning to travel from London or the UK this summer? Are you wondering what are the current restrictions at the airport? Or you're just curious, what is it like to travel in 2021? Don't you worry, because on this video, you're in the right place. In this vlog, I will share with you my experience of traveling from London to Santorini, and I will also show you all the documents that I needed to prepare in advance, where did they take them from, how much did my PCR test cost, and I will tell you all the truth about how strict were actually the measures at the airport. Hi guys! It's your curious and awkward friend Fassi and today we're finally traveling and you, I cannot explain to you how happy and excited I am. At the moment we're waiting for the express train to Stansted. For the ones of you living in the UK, if you're also planning to travel, I really suggest you the home kit from Boots. It is from this company and it costed only 65 pounds. You do it at home and for me the results came out the next day. And I have to say their customer service was also very good. And I know this because they called them like two times, but yeah, they were super nice, very efficient. So yeah, definitely suggest it. We have our flight in like a little bit more than two hours we have our negative tests and everything is ready so i will just see you at the airport okay let's go and here we are at the airport i have to say it's a little bit busier than what i expected and uh, definitely a lot busier than uh, last year at this time And this is how the airport looked right after you enter. As you can see, it's like pretty busy, definitely not as busy as it was in 2019 and before, but also I have to say it was busier than last year at this time. And it was also pretty well organized. There were like the antibacterial gels everywhere and also everyone was wearing a mask. I think what surprised me the most right right after I entered is that they didn't ask you for your PCR test right in the beginning and this actually didn't happen until the time you have to get onto the flight. But passing through the security was just a dream. After that, the duty-free section looked pretty normal, apart from the fact that they were definitely higher discounts than usual. And for instance, we found an Aperol Spritz, which costed only £9, and oh my god, you cannot imagine how much I regret not buying it. But just from the way people were dressed, you could see that everyone was going on a holiday. I'm actually so shocked, I just realized that our train arrived at 9.15 and now it's 9.30 and we have already gone through, through security and we're just like walking around from like 5 minutes so it's super efficient. As you can see, it's empty enough that I can just jump around and also I just wanted to show you that some of the stores are just permanently closed and also some of the restaurants as well. You guys, everything is so smooth, I cannot even believe it. But yeah, we have our flight at 11 and by the time we land, it's going to be almost 5 p.m. Greek time. So we kind of want to have to take something from here for lunch so we don't have to like buy the food from Ryanair. When are you coming? Um, um, full English breakfast box thing. It's amazing. It's like the tastiest thing ever. But is this halloumi? Mm, I guess so, yeah. Also, we are totally ready for Greece. Mm, maybe. And I got some bolts. Let me show you. Ta -da! Oh, wow! And they're with peaches and raspberry jam. And they also have some yogurt in here. It's quite a big portion. Generous. It's actually quite good. I got the summer porridge. I'm having, I just finished my breakfast box, you know? And ah, you yeah. just got another one. It was really good. Oh, wow. Wow. 
but it's kind of a twist because of the halloumi. It's a good twist. And after that, everything went pretty smooth and uh, there wasn't anything crazy happening. What actually surprised me more was that as soon as we landed, there was a huge queue first to check your passport and uh, PLF file that you have to fill in to enter into Greece. But also they didn't even look at our PCR tests. They just literally tested the whole plane all over again. And something to keep in mind if you're traveling back to the US, to the UK or literally to any other country if you're not vaccinated and you need to get a PCR or a rapid test before flying back home. I know there is uh, this very convenient thing of getting your test at the airport. But the reality is I was at the Athens airport and there were so many people. There was such a big queue that you had to wait for like almost two hours to get your test and there were people all around me missing their flights because they didn't expect to wait for so long so please please plan your PCR test in advance hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe because in my next one we will be in Santorini love you all bye